Hello everyone, this is Christy. Today I'm going to share with you another Temu crafty haul and I have a lot of items to share with you. And I'm going to start with this one. Look, this one says a paper crimper and I already opened it because I wanted to make some samples. And it comes like this. It's just plastic. And when you um move this one, okay, uh, it had to be towards you, okay? Like this, so that paper can go to the other side. And if you just turn, it's going to be the same, see? You had to do it to this way, okay? To the front of you. And here I have a scrap of paper and I'm going to put it up here. And remember that you have to um, twist this one to the front. And I'm going to start twisting to the front. See, and this is how it looks. Very nice for car making albums. Very, very nice to make embellishments. And you can cut the shape that you want before you pass through this machine. And for example, I cut a um, heart and then I just pass it. And it looks like this. And then also I cut this banner. And yeah, you can... Uh, put it on top and it looks like dimensional. See, you can get, for example, this banner and then put this one on top and then add a sentiment up here or just using in different ways, see? So it's very fun and you can make beautiful embellishments with this little machine. I also got this booklet of uh, stickers and I'm going to show you. And these ones, you have to fuzzy cut them, okay? And then um, you can peel the backing. I'm going to show you in this one. It feels like washi tape after you take them out. See? So it's going to be very nice um, to embellish your journals or uh, albums, cards. And it comes one of each design and look there is a lot a lot of flowers bouquets see i'm going to show you very fast So if you like flowers, you get hundreds of them in this booklet. And here are paper pads of different designs. I'm going to show you. These are five and a half by five and a half. And I'm going to show you very fast each one. These are stickers and I can show you right here that you can see. And this are the same like washi tape and you get five pages of stickers these are stickers as well and then you get the papers and i'm going to show you like this Two of each design.
and these are perfect for any project. I also got these frames and there are a lot more to choose from and I just chose these ones. It comes 30 in each package and it's five of each, okay? So for the example right here, I have five of this design, so beautiful. Then five of these, they look like lace. Then this one right here, this one and this one and this one see super cute right and here is that purple one look you can place them like this or like this I love that it looks like lace around. Look. And this one are the ivory. Look. for journaling or for mini albums, very nice. Then another kind of uh, stickers are this one that comes in a roll. And these look like stamps and I'm going to open it. See, beautiful stamps with flowers. And they are very easy to take them out, see? You just get, get them from the clear acetate and you can reuse the acetate to make shakers or something, see? Another kind of stickers that I got are these that comes in rolls and they are um, washi tape, it's called a washi tape. And it comes in a roll and they are already pre-cut. And these are a little bit hard to get them out of the roll, but they are very, very beautiful. If you like flowers like me, you will adore them. So you have to pick carefully out of the roll. I think this one is the first one. And for example, once you get it, you can start getting the rest. See, they look like washi tape. And then you see the next one. And then after you pick that one, you get the next one. So that's how you get them. And these stickers are one and three quarters of an inch. And here is the picture. These are like perfume bottles with roses. And you can see right here the picture of the designs that comes in the roll. Then here is this blue one. And it's blue with purple flowers. And they are like bottles like this. Then it has this one right here that are like coral, a little bit of coral flowers. And they are like domes with flowers inside. Then there is this yellow one. And these are like bottles with flowers inside. And these are the colors. Then right here is the purple one. And it looks like lavender. And it has bottles like this. And the last one is this one that has barrels with soft pink roses. See? 
Can you see the roses right there? And this is a set of um, decorative papers and it comes a lot of them. I'm going to show you different sizes and for, um, especially for like journaling. It comes with all of these stickers that are already pre-cut and they feel like washi tape. And look in the backing, see, you can peel it and use it and you get mushrooms you get butterflies flowers and many cute embellishments see and you will get a lot of ephemera as you can see these are just paper they are not stickers but it's a lot of designs here small ones and big ones see i'm going to pass it very fast some of them As you can see, you get a lot of ephemera to play with and also lots of stickers. I also got some laces and this one comes one yard and it looks like embroidered. And this one is four inches. See? Beautiful lace. And the next lace is this one that is embroidered and it's on a sheer and this one measures like about three and three quarters see and you get two yards in the package and for making uh, embellishments i also got these uh, scrabble um, tiles and i got 100 in this package and it's fun um, for making embellishments for the cover of your album or even for a card. You can um, make names or maybe words like family or congratulations, anything. <laughs> See, it's very, very beautiful. And for sending gifts, I bought these ones. Are These are treasure chests and this is the big one. This one measures two and a half by three and three quarters and it's just open and you can put anything you will see um what you put inside so it can be some goodies for a friend or some candy chocolate see very nice and this one measures two inches by three see and and it looks like this so you have different sizes to choose from and I also found this piece that is a dome and you can put something special in there too and you can just get them like this and you can find um, this one in a different color too and I love this one for sending gifts to my friends I also found these pom-poms that are super gorgeous. They are beautiful, fluffy, and they have this one right here, a tassel, that's very delicate, and also this one for the keys, and it has a lobster right here. And you can add it as a decoration to the gift bags, or you can add it to a mini album if you want to just 
take one of these and add it to a mini album. Super cute. And they have in a lot of colors to choose from. And I also like to buy scissors. And this is a tiny scissors that you can take it with you. Um, you can leave it in the car. You can put it in your purse, see, or in an emergency kit. They look like glasses, but you open like this, see? You open like this. And they cut very well. This is a piece of cardstock. Look. See? They cut very, very well. And you just close it like this and push. And it's very nice and also safety. See? And I also got this stencil that is 5 by 8. And uh, it's beautiful for card making to make a background. And I also got these embossing folders and this one opens like this for your paper. And this one measures four by five and three quarters. Both of them are the same, see? And I got this one with um, letters. Very nice. And the last items that I got are these envelopes that I bought for um, organizing my dice. And I'm going to show you, after I show you the dice, how they look. And it comes 20 in each package. The small ones are 4x4. Four four, and you get all this space, okay, the 4 inches to save some dice. Or anything that you want to put inside. And right here, there is a cut that you can put this one inside and close it. See? The next size that I got is this one that is uh, five and a half by seven and a half. And it's the same. See, it opens all the way. And it has the cut right here. And you can close it like this. And the last one is this one that is um, six and three quarters by nine and a half. And this is a big pocket and it comes with this um, velcro and you can say bigger dice in here and i like this size especially for big sets that has a lot of pieces and you get 20 of these um, envelopes in each package now i'm going to show you the dice and as always some samples of the cuts and the first die is this one right here which is a border and this one is five inches long and this is the sample as you can see right here it's a beautiful border die that you can use it this way for example if you make a flap you can put it on top or maybe on a pocket if you are doing on the bottom the next die is this one right here and this die measures five and a half by two. And this one cuts like this. See, you can put it vertical or horizontal. And here is another one that is similar to that one. See, and here is how it cuts. See. And this one measures one and three quarters of an inch and right here is five and a half. The next tie is this one right here. And this tie is two inches by five. And this one is two dies, but I didn't separate them because I prefer to use them like this and it cuts like this. Here I have another die and this one is five and a quarter by two. And there are two dies in here as well. And if you separate them, you are going to just have like a window, this one inside, and you don't need to cut the whole piece. So this is when you don't separate them. I love this one, like lace style. It's very beautiful. And here is a big border die. And as you can see right here, it looks like lace as well. This one measures two inches by eight. And it cuts like this. See? This 
see so beautiful it cuts all the flowers and all these small details right here I also got this tie that that cuts like this irregular and it cuts like this see you can um, do it in any color it's very 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 delicate and beautiful look see if you are doing um bee style honeycomb this is like honeycomb but also if you are doing vintage you can cut this one in gold or or brown see for any style it's very beautiful and this is another die that i cut and it's two pieces here is one that you can separate and this is the other one and this one measures four and a half by five and a half see and it cuts like this so you can make a pocket for your mini album and for this one because this one doesn't cut the edges I just place it on the paper and I just left half of an inch on each side see and then I didn't separate this one so it can cut this border so if you want to make for example a pocket you have to do like this and then you can fold this one to the back and decorate a nice page see you can put another color of paper and you have a very nice pocket a very delicate pocket for a card or for a mini album or even for a journal see very very nice and here is another die that is three and a half by five and this one cuts like this see so this oval right here can be for the greetings see the sentiments and this is just a decoration it's like a beautiful lace you can place flowers right here this looks very shabby and here is a die set it comes these two pieces right here you can use this one as a window to decorate part of your page or you can use both and this one measures three and a half by four and a half and it also comes with this piece that is one and three quarters by four and it cuts like this and this is how it looks the other piece see the next dice um it comes like this there are two pieces right here you need to separate them and you can separate them if you want to make accents with different papers but i personally prefer to keep them like that and this die measures two and a half by four and a half and this one is three and a half by four and a half so i'm going to keep it like this and i'm going to show you how it cuts can you see it's uh, very thin so it's better to keep them both together and it will cut like this and this is the other part see and this set of dice comes with these leaves right here and these two flowers the leaves are like embossed and these are the flowers and this one is another die that is a tag with lace around and this one is two and a half by four and it cuts like this and the next die is this flourish and this one is one inch by three and a half and it cuts like this it's very very delicate see you can cut a lot of this and embellish your albums like vines or flourishes see it's very beautiful the next tie is this word and this one is one and a quarter by three and one quarter and here I have a sample. This is how it cuts. It says happy anniversary. I cut it in silver. 
Then I have up here another die, and this one comes two in one set. See, this one is for the background, and this one is for cutting the word. And this one measures two by three. And I just put them together as a sample, and it cuts like this. See, the white color and the light pink are the background, and I just overlap them. And then this dark pink is the die with the word that says best day ever. See, so I got two of these and one of these. And you have this effect. Another word die is this one right here. And this die is about three by three. And it says miss you. And I just cut it in white cardstock and it looks like this. And I don't have the dot, but it has a, a dot right here that you can glue on the paper. See, very fancy lettering. Another word die is this one that measures two by four. And this one says, thank you for being a friend. That will be amazing for a card or a gift. It says, thank you for being a friend, see? And here is another word die that is two and three quarters by four. And this one says, you are truly amazing. It cuts all in one piece and you can just um, decorate them with a different background. And this is very nice for card making, right? The next set of dies is this one that comes 10 pieces. It comes um, five different words with the background. And I cut the samples right here. And it says right here, you got this. It's friends forever. Missing you. Hey, bestie. And the last one that says, just because. So these are very nice words for your cards. And here is a set of jewelry. Uh, dies you can cut like safety pins chains like these two chains there are more safety pins right here smaller one another pins this is a pin with a heart and this is with a round head and there are these um, ornaments right here then also this one see so you get a lot of these ties for making embellishments and here is another die that I got, and these are two pieces, but I didn't separate them. This one measures two and a half by three and a half. And I just use my scraps and I cut this tag right here. Can you see? I cut them in pink. And also with the negative of the pink paper, I just made this other tag. Can you see? This is the negative, and you can use them both. If you cut in a big paper, you can make another tag if you want. See? And they both look nice, right? And here is another die. Um, and this die is a cat, and this is three by four. And this is how it cuts. I'm using just scraps to show you. So I just got like a tag and it's an adorable kitty. <laughs> Super cute. See? And also I cut it in um, this color. It's like gray and it looks very nice too. I love it more in black. So cute. And here is another set of dice and this is for making ice cream on Sundays. And there are 10 pieces in this set. And I use my scraps of cardstock and it cuts like this. Super cute for this summer. And here is the cup. And it embosses a little bit. And here are the ice cream. You can cut it in different colors. And this is the whipped cream. And these are the uh, cookie sticks. And if you put them together, you can make like a 4 inch stall ice cream cup. And 
Here is another one using the Sunday cup and it looks like this. You can also emboss a little bit right here. And I just used three different colors and I put the cherry on top and this is the spoon. So you can use these dice in many different ways, see? And here is another set of dice. It comes 10 and you can create this beautiful embellishment for a card. If you want to make a thank you card for a nurse or for a doctor, see? You just have to put them together and you can write the name up here of the person if you want. And it's super cute. And when you put them together, this measures two by two and a half. And this is the last die that I'm going to show you. And it has three dresses, one hanger and these embellishments. And you can create a simple dress like this. And I just put it with a hanger. And then I made this one right here. See? With just this color of paper and right here is one of the smaller pieces and the hunger. So you don't need to do many things. If you don't want, you don't have to embellish more. It looks very, very nice, see? And the last one is this one. It looks like a ballerina. And I use the bow and the other piece. And then I just put them on the hunger. Super cute. And if you want to get add glitter or anything, you can do it in many colors. So you can create beautiful dresses for cards or for embellishments using just scraps of paper. And here is how I will use the pockets. As you can see, I put the small dice in here and usually um, they come in a bag that is like um, this plastic bag. And I will keep it like that because it's going to be easier to have it all together and if you have samples you can put it on top if you don't have samples you can maybe label it what is it and then keep it all together see and that will save me time to um find um dice easier see i put up here all the ones that have a lot of pieces like for example the dresses or this uh ice cream set or this one that is just one um, embellishment, but it has 10 pieces, see? So you can organize them like this. And I have here the medium pockets. And see, you just put the pockets that comes with the dice. And if there are many pieces, you just uh, put them in the original baggies. And try to put them like similar ones. For example, these two are very similar by the designs. And also they are kind of shabby. And this one too, because they look like lace. So I just put them together right here, see? And for the big one, I put several borders. And as you can see, it's very easy to find them. And it will be better if you make a sample when you receive the dice so you can organize them faster, see? And as you can see, I put the long one right here, but these are small, so I'm going to keep it like that and each one in their bag, see? So this is a very nice way to organize your dice. I hope you like the items that I show you and remember that I'm going to leave the links in the description box. And if it's the first time that you are going to shop at Temu, don't forget to put my code so you can get a 30% off on your first order. Thank you very much for watching my videos, for your likes, your comments, and for subscribing to my channel. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.